it's quite a varied sector to work in. It's quite challenging in that sense. It's quite um, engaging work at the same time. You might have two vehicles that you could call exactly the same thing, but they're actually based on two different chassis with a slightly different build and they were built six months apart. So there's doors in different places or different window features or something else. So one livery solution doesn't always work for everything. And then beyond that, you've got the sort of the promotional side as well. So sort of advertising and marketing and third party. So we've just wrapped 18 coaches for National Express for Madrid Tourist Board, which is again, something interesting. So then you've then got the third element there. So you've got the brand, you've got the corporate branding, you've got the promotional side, and you've got the, the legal and the labeling side as well. So it's, it's really involved in that sense. When you are wrapping, particularly for a promotional coach, you use a lot of the perforated film. Obviously there's challenges to that because the design has to continue from the bodywork onto the windows. But the way we template the vehicles and we have a lot of the coach templates on files, we're able to sort of implement that seamlessly. The benefit of our vast experience in the fleet industry lends itself hand in hand to our work in bus and coach sector. The ideas, methodology and work behind it is essentially the same. The only difference is scale and ensuring that one livery will fit every bus and coach type within their fleet. The timescales to work to tend to be quite tight, so it's always a bit of a, a rush to try and make sure that you're getting everything done on time. Obviously you're out running during the day, ferrying the general public, so often you find that you're working out of hours, early mornings, overnights, weekends, to be able to deliver some large projects. Last one we did, we were, we were wrapping on bank holidays when the, the coaches weren't in service. So, you know, that, that's a challenge because, you know, they can't just take 10 coaches off the road and, and, you know, let down their passengers. So we have to work around that. So best advice would be not to forget that we're always there and able to help with any of your spares needs just to make sure that your fleet, once we've done the initial branding, stays looking in tip top shape. What we've done with coach customers in the past is we've put together sort of almost like catalogues which show plans of the coaches and where every label has to go, whether it's seat numbers internally, window stickers, warning labels, everything else. And all this information as well we put online. It is, it's, as far as the labeling and the branding and, and everything else is a very complex installation. So I think to have control and sight and visibility of that is very important by having that sort of catalog and be able to create that guide for them. So there's sort of like that peace of mind that they know that everything's there in the right place and also they can see it for themselves they can refer back to the catalogue they can order the parts online everything else so it just you know takes that sort of uh, complication out of it for them <laughs>